So I actually assessed my mentee in the interview process. So part of uh, the project that we worked upon together was um, having this student go through uh, newspapers and so to actually comb the archive, but also to pinpoint if there's a particular rhetoric being used. So I printed out newspapers that I knew had a particular angle, it was particularly about Native women and runaways, and I really wanted to analyze the rhetoric. So in that first meeting, even before she became my mentee, I sort of tested her and quizzed her in that moment. Are there any particular words that are coming up that sort of convey something? And right away she could pick up um, that there were particular words that were demeaning and relation to assimilation and, and all these kinds of uh, uh, kinds of issues. And so I knew from the get-go, this is the kind of person who has already the critical thinking skills, um, and it sounds like they're also interested in archives. Uh, so during the interview, I didn't ask students to perform any particular task because I think my project was um, kind of uh, esoteric. So I didn't ask them for any particular task to perform because I didn't expect any of them to know it, and I'm pretty sure none of them would be able to read uh, languages from 4,000 years ago. Uh, the only thing that I did do is I had some kind of role-playing situation to kind of see how they react to certain scenarios. So one scenario was the mentee wakes up, uh, the alarm didn't go off, the mentee wakes up four hours late and has missed our meeting. What does the mentee do? and kind of, you know, snap decision to see how they react, not to let them, you know, mull over it, but just um, react to the scenario, um, what's their first thought. So I had three scenarios like that. Um, and I think were, those were very uh, illuminating. I had initially planned on doing some tasks to interview, but um, I was, uh, the interview was very stressful. Um, so I didn't want to sort of put my uh, interviewees in like an uncomfortable spot where they'd have to do fine manipulations with their hands. Um, I'd rather just focus on what makes them excited um, and can they communicate, you know, succinctly about, you know, what makes them excited about science in general instead of just like very stock answers. You know, I, I, I want to do this because I'm going to save the world. I want to do this because I find science exciting. But, you know, trying to ferret out what actually, you know, makes them, you know, curious. Um, I think that's a little bit more useful than any type of task. We as mentor, like mentors, it's our job to teach the mentees how to do things, how to code, how to pipette, how to do uh, basic bench work. I don't have any expectation of an undergraduate having, you know, that much skills that's, that's on me. Um, those can be taught, um, but it's, it's, it's much more difficult to teach um, you know, resilience, it's much more difficult to, to teach interests. Um, so uh, actual skills in the interview, I don't think are that important.